Hello, this is Fred Hooper with Gentleman Fred Effects. This video is meant to be used with the fire pack, and I'm gonna go over a couple things today. I'm gonna to briefly go over how to place the fire effects in the pack, and also how to change the parameters and the effects instances in case you wanna change the colors of the fire and the smoke. Now, I've also added a link to the parameters page in the info below in case you want to know more about effects instance parameters in Unreal 4. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over general placement. Now I've built all the effects on the forward of the emitter. So I've got some, uh, let's hit G in the map. So I've got almost all the sort of basic movement for the fire in the forward. So uh, like the torch fires are all up, the jets, you place them in the outward position. But in this case, uh, I'm, we're just gonna focus on the, the, um, the campfire. So let's go over and let's bring one in. Let's left click drag this out from the particles area and you'll see that when we bring it in, it's got, it's, uh, everything is in uh, a positive X movement. And again, that's 100% intentional. I've baked a little bit of information in that positive X, uh, but not a lot, uh, but it's just enough so that if you were to use this in a blueprint and use sort of a, a vector um, parameter and have it move in an upward, you'd use that forward. So what I want to do is let's just put this on this back wall here. So let's uh, get our space bar to get our rotate tool and let's rotate this out by 90 degrees. And the next thing I want to do is let's just tap space bar again to get the move tool. Let's move this back. This is, that's good enough for now. And then let's hit G again to get out of get back in the game mode. And uh, you can see that it still is, has a natural movement. I've, I've put in some constant acceleration in, uh, in Z and a little bit in X, so it has a little bit of a diagonal motion, but it's always gonna be moving up uh, in sort of a natural movement. So that's basics on how to place it. So next thing I wanna do is I wanna go over how I could change colors on this instance here. So what I wanna do is uh, I'm gonna select this. Let's go over into details and scroll down a little bit and go into emitter actions and hit expose parameter. Now this is going to vanish and that's that's totally fine. Uh, don't worry about that. We're going to get our our visuals back in just a second. Now I've I've added parameters for the smoke and for the fire, but I've not added for the heat so you can kind of still see a little bit of that heat going there. And what you want to do is in the uh, there's um, four parameters over here. I'm going to show you. So uh, we have the uh, fire alpha scale over life. This will change the alpha of the fire. The uh, fire color scale over life, which will change the color of the fire. The smoke alpha will change the smoke's alpha. And the smoke color will change the smoke color. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the, um, the color of the fire. So let's go down into the uh, alpha scale over life. And this is a scalar. So what we need to do is, because this is a scalar parameter type, all we need to do is change the scalar uh, entry. So let's make this one. And you'll still see nothing's happening here, but in just a second, we'll get to that. And the next thing we wanna do is we wanna change this uh, to color. Now this is a vector parameter. Let's click on the color. Now let's make this a little bit of a green color. And you can see this is jittering like crazy, but you're still not seeing anything happening here. And that's because the fire shader is an additive shader, and this is still set to black. So to see any sort of visual, we need to move this up. So now we're seeing a little bit of that color in there. So let's just select a color here, something a little bit green green and warlockish, uh, just like that. So then uh, with that color selected, hit OK. Now let's say I want it to be a little bit more intense. So all we need to do is let's go back down into the uh, alpha, and let's make this 5. And you can see this has gotten a little bit brighter. Now this is also tied into the light, so it's also changing that light intensity in the back. So let's make this, uh, just for now, let's make it three, so a little bit brighter. And uh, next thing we wanna do is we wanna bring back our smoke. So let's go up and let's go into the uh, smoke alpha scale over life. And let's just change the scalar to one. You can see now our smoke's back, but it's still uh, not, it's still using sort of a black, a black color. So let's uh, click on the color. Let's make this white. Now, all the, all the smokes in here are pretty dark, uh, and these are all lit shaders. So um, generally speaking, you're gonna need to, um, if you want this to be anything other than a dark color, you're gonna need to have this vector go over one. So let's make this five. And you can see that it's, it's changing to a little bit of a brighter smoke there. 
Now you can also change the colors here too. So let's make this 50 and now I've got a red smoke because uh, the X, Y, and Z are red, green, and blue. So let's, let's be a little bit more uh, nice here. Let's make this a green smoke instead of a red one. So let's make this 50. And now you can see we've got a green smoke with a green fire. Let's make it 15, that's a little crazy. So um, anyway, that's all I really wanted to show you here. Uh, so you can change the fire and the smoke as much as you'd like uh, and uh, you know just have fun with it, I do. Um, so uh, thanks for taking a look at the video and if you have any questions about the fire pack, feel free to send me an email at gentlemanfredeffects at gmail.com. I also have a, a YouTube channel and a Twitter in case you wanna keep up with what I'm doing with the Gentleman Fred Effects. Uh, those are also in the information below. Thanks for watching.